Hello, sixth graders. This is Baiju, sixth, seventh, and eighth channel, and I am Saurabh. Let me welcome you to this another very important rapid revision, the last lap. The chapter's name is Light, Shadows, and Reflection. This is a series where we take care of one chapter and we make sure it's completed under 30 minutes. This chapter is a simple and beautiful chapter. Very easy to understand if you ever faced a problem. This means that maybe someone has not taught you from the 30 minutes, ke andar, I can promise you three things. First, we'll revise this chapter completely end to end. Second, you want notes, right? Check out the description. In the description, there is a link given to you. If you click on that link, you will get two things in that link. One is the full chapter notes. Second, exam-oriented important questions, the worksheets, as you like to call them. These two things are for you, free, all yours, right? Third, homework questions. So in, during this session, I'll give you a few homework questions, which I'm expecting, if you understand, you will let me know in the comment section, which will be great. All right, shall we begin? The series is called Rapid Revision, The Last Lap. Under 30 minutes, the chapter's name, again I'm saying, Light, Shadows and Reflection. This chapter we have broken down. This chapter we have broken down five simple topics, just five simple topics. This is the roadmap we have to take, fine. Let's begin from the first milestone. The first milestone is luminous and non-luminous objects. Luminous and non-luminous. If you just look at their terminology, luminous, which can glow, which can give off their own light. Those, those objects are called as luminous objects, right? So luminous objects are which emit their own light, like sun, candle, fireflies, bonfire, stars, Right? All of these are what? Luminous objects. Your bulbs. In your house you have tube lights. All of this is what? Luminous objects. They have their own light. Nice. What are non-luminous objects? I am a non-luminous object. I am not glowing. You can see me because light from these sources is falling on me. Reflecting and then reaching to you. Right? So I am a non-luminous object. Now when the question comes, please don't write Saurabh sir in your exam. Right? Right? Objects which do not emit their own light. For example, most of the objects near you, around you, most of the objects are non, uh, most of the objects are non-luminous only. Look at this: glass, curtain, eraser, non-luminous. Very easy, you know. Now let's see. There are luminous objects which are permanently luminous. Like you cannot turn them off. Switch liya, band kiya, band ho gaya. Hai na? Sun is permanent luminous here. Aisa koi button thodi hai. Aaj sun nahi chalega. Nothing like that, right? So, next we have temporary luminosity. For example, the things which you can turn on and off, like your torch, like your candles. The things which glow around you, you have control over them. Hai na? They are temporarily luminous. Artificial sources of light can act as both luminous and non-luminous objects. That's true. Light rays emitted by the sun gets reflected from the moon's surface. Moon kya hai? Moon shines in the night. That's true. Raat mein chandrama chamakta hai. Kyu? Moon does not have its own light. Moon is a non-luminous object. It reflects the light coming from the sun. Right? So this is a very, very, very common, commonly asked question. Bhoot aram se pucha jata hai. Okay? Second. Itna hi tha. Second. Types of object in terms of how they behave with light. In terms of, do they, do they allow light to pass through them or they do not, right na? Kis tarah se light ke saath behave karte hain, yani ki apne se kitna pass hone dete hain. Depending on this, we have classified three types of objects. The three types are, transparent objects, which allow complete light to pass through them. Like, glass, uh, between you and me, what is this? Air. Transparent, correct, hai na? So yes, transparent objects, they allow light to pass through it completely. Second, translucent object. For example, you can say butter paper. You can say uh, this bottle because I can see my finger, hai na? You can see also my finger. So, they allow light to pass through them, but partially. Those are called as translucent objects. Allow light to pass through it partially. Opaque ones. You can't see behind me, no? I'm an opaque object. I do not allow light to pass through me easily, correct? So, 
ऑब्जेक्ट्स विच डू नॉट अलाउ लाइट टू पास थ्रू देम आर कॉल्ड एज ओपेक ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेरी सिंपल टर्मिनोलॉजी ओपेक मतलब पास नहीं होने देगा ट्रांसपेरेंट मतलब पूरा पूरा पास होने देगा ट्रांसलूशन मतलब थोड़ा थोड़ा आधा दूर राइट ट्रांसलूशन मतलब पार्शियल फाइन ठीक है दिस यू कैन से इट इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सी इन योर ग्रेड आई वोट सेम इज डिफिकल्ट बट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग बट स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड दिस डिफिकल्ट आई डोंट नो वाई मे बी बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी एक्सपीरियंशियल जो लोग इसको रटते हैं उनको समझ नहीं आता है जो इसको एक्सपीरियंस कर लेते हैं उनको बड़ा मजा आता है लेट मी टेल यू वाई पहली चीज पिन होल कैमरा इट वर्क ऑन वॉट इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन स्टेट द प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड द वर्किंग ऑफ अ पिन होल कैमरा क्या है प्रिंसिपल का नाम है कि भाई लाइट ट्रेवल्स इन स्ट्रेट लाइन लाइट एक सीधाई में चलता है लाइट ट्रेवल्स इन स्ट्रेट लाइन इन सिंपल वर्ड्स नॉट इन सिंपल वर्ड्स इन मोर टेक्निकल वर्ड्स वी से डायरेक्टली लीनियर प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ लाइट एंड दिस माई फ्रेंड इट्स अ प्रूफ एंड गाइज लिसन टू मी इन योर क्लास द क्वेश्चन विच कम राइट दीज क्वेश्चन आर नॉट लाइक डिफाइन और स्टेट दे आर लाइक गिव मीन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू सी और टू प्रूव दैट लाइट कैन नॉट बेंड Given a statement to prove that light travels in straight lines, in front of you. If you take a straight pipe, you can see a candle on the other side. You know, if let's say this is a candle on the other side, and you have a straight pipe, you can see the candle. That's true. But if you have a pipe which is bent like this, and you have a candle on that side, do you think you can see it? No. Why? Because light travels in a straight line. Light ऐसा नहीं होगा कि pipe में जाएगा अपने आप घूमेगा और चला जाएगा. नहीं. Light travels in straight lines until unless you have different medium. फ्रैक्शन की बात नहीं कर रहे अभी हम नॉर्मली बात कर रहे हैं इन इन सेम मीडियम लाइट ट्रेवल्स इन स्ट्रेट लाइन ठीक है सच बात है यस सर अब दिस इज द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड पिन होल कैमरा इट्स अ कैमरा यस एंड इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल कैमरा वेरी वेरी सिंपल कैमरा प्रीवियसली वी टू कॉल इट कैमरा ऑब्सक्योरा कुछ नहीं चाहिए इसके लिए क्या चाहिए एक बॉक्स चाहिए है ना यू नीड अ कार्डबोर्ड बॉक्स मेक अ होल इनसाइड द बॉक्स ये है है ना दिस इज अ होल इनसाइड द बॉक्स और इनसाइड द बॉक्स ना जस्ट पुट अ ट्रांसल्यूसेंट स्क्रीन कैसे नॉर्मल लोग क्या करते हैं ना दो कार्डबोर्ड बॉक्स लेते हैं अंदर वाले बॉक्स के अंदर स्क्रीन लगा देते हैं है ना बाहर वाले के अंदर होल कर देते हैं एंड दिस वन कैन गो इन साइड यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस राइट आउटसाइड बॉक्स हैज अ होल एंड द बॉक्स इन साइड इट हैज वन स्क्रीन ऑन दिस साइड है ना दिस कैन गो अंदर ठीक है इट कैन गो इन साइड द बिगर वाला बॉक्स Fine. So this is your simple, simple setup of your pinhole camera. Up, what are you trying to see, right? That is your object, like this tree over here. Up, देखो ध्यान से सुनना जरा है ना. What is happening? The topmost point of this tree, light from that point will go straight, 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 pass through this hole and form an image on the bottom side of the screen. Why? Because light straight जा रहा है. Second. If you take the bottom most point, I'm just taking two points. Huh? If you take the bottom most point, light is traveling straight, 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 straight through this hole, and forms an image on the top most point of this screen. Object is like this, but image is like this. Image is inverted. That's true. Correct, है ना? So, pinhole camera is forming a smaller image, right? Inverted image. That's true. Correct. Now one more important thing. It's a very common question which I always ask the students. You can see top to bottom inversion, that is for sure. But do we have a left-right inversion? Yes or no? It's a homework. It's not a homework question. I'm asking you right now. If you're watching this video, pause the video. Tell me in the comment section. Come on, tell me now. Do you think top-down inversion is happening in front of you? That's for sure. Aju baju ka ho raha hai inversion nahi ho raha hai? Hota hai. But jo aise hi hoga. Agar main ye haath rakhunga na. From this hand, one light ray will come, pass through this hole and form an image over there. From this hand, one light ray will go, pass through this hole and form an image over there. So, you will get my image left-right inverted. Bhi milegi. So, yes, there is a top-down inversion and you have a left-right inversion also. Mind it, right? We have a left-right inversion. नहीं भूलना क्वेश्चन घुमाएगा यहां पर ठीक है फाइन चलो आगे आओ नाउ 
this is something which we made. The, the pinhole camera we saw, that was something we made ourselves. But we have natural pinhole cameras also. If you look at the... If you are roaming in the in a street, you know, there, are, there are trees nearby. And if you look at the floor, you know, under the tree, you will see small, 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 small dots which are circular. That is actually the sun. But if you look at the top, पेड़ के बीच में तो यार बहुत इरेगुलर शेप होता है। You have so many irregular shapes between the tree leaves, but still the shadow you are getting it is a complete small shadow of the sun. Those small small holes between the tree leaves they are working like pinhole cameras. It's a natural pinhole camera. क्या होता है यहाँ पे? One light ray coming from there forms a small image over here. One light ray coming from there forms a small image over here. ये जो पेड़ की पत्तियाँ हैं, उनके बीच में जो छोटा छोटा gap है, that is working like a pinhole camera. And this floor is working like a screen. Correct? Hogia easy. Right? Natural pinhole camera are your trees actually. Fine? Chalo. Formation of shadows. Nice. Very interesting. Interesting because you can experiment it here. You just need what? You need a torch and a wall. And you have both. I know that. Okay. Formation of shadows. Ki baat karte Dekho, shadow kya hai? What is a shadow? It's a dark patch formed when an opaque object obstructs the light. But if light is going somewhere and you put an opaque object in between, this opaque object will stop the light. But around it, the light can pass. So what will you get on a, on a screen behind it? A patch, a black patch where light could not reach. That is a shadow. Formed because light travels in a straight line again. Principle behind formation of shadow. Principle behind formation of shadow. Because light travels in a straight line. Principle behind pinhole camera. Light travels in a straight line. Very simple, right? What do you need shadow form? Three things you want to, uh, you need to form a shadow. First, you need a source. What source? Light source. Second, you need an opaque object. Can a transparent object form a shadow? No. No. You need a light source. You need an opaque object. And then you need a screen. Screen chahiye. Imagine you are standing on a cliff. You have a light source behind you. You are standing like this. But do you think your shadow will be formed? No, because you don't have a screen. Dur dur ta kuch hai nahi. Kaha hai ka shadow? Koi shadow nahi banega, right? You need three things. Source, opaque object and the screen. Fine, very good. Next, what are the properties of a shadow? Very, very, very important topic. From this, very easily, questions are coming every year, every year in the paper. Okay? Bhoat aram se aare question. Bhoat अच्छे क्वेश्चन भी आते हैं कभी-कभी, but properties से बड़े सारे क्वेश्चन आते हैं। क्या है properties? What kind of properties do we have? Shadow can only be obtained on a screen. That is true. You need a screen to cast a shadow. Shadow is always black in color. Question will come. If I have a red colored torch, shadow will be black. Shadow is absence of light, right? If you have a light which is of red color and a an opaque object is there. This object will block the red light. Your shadow will be black. Shadow is always black. All those YouTube videos you are thinking of colored shadow, those are not actually the shadow. It's a combination of one or two colors that you are thinking that shadow is different. No, shadow is black. Correct? Size can be varied. Yes, depending on the distance between source and object or the object in the screen, the size of shadow can be varied. Try it out. This is a small homework for you. What do you want to do? Take a pen, take your phone ka flashlight, put this pen in front of the wall and the flashlight over here. You will see a shadow of the pen. Bring the pen closer to uh, flashlight. Take the flashlight away from the pen. Ye do teen cheeze try karna. Bas baut hai. Your science book is not for cramming. It's for experiencing. Do this activity. It's a question actually. If you do this activity, ye question asaan hai tumhare liye. Koon karega? Tum karoge, aur karega. Come on. The shadow may give misleading information about the shape of the object. The shadow may give misleading information about the shape of the object. So, object ka shape or shadow ka shape is not necessary, it should be same. Right? Let me ask this to you. Because you are pro in shadow, hai na? Tumne practice to kar liya hoga. You might have also experienced it. Try it out. This is a homework question for you. Which one among the following will form the same shape of shadow irrespective of the position of the source of light? Same shape of shadow irrespective of the position of the source of light. A, B, C, D. 
with why don't just tell me a b c d give me answer also like give me reasoning also theek hai last reflection of light bhai dekho reflection of light kya hai reflect karna kya hota hai something should be sent back so reflection of light is what light rays they bounce back after striking an object light rays needs to go back in the same medium in which they were traveling before isi ko bolte hain kya bouncing back isi ko bolte hain kya reflection hai na simple so the light ray which is falling on the reflective surface is called the incident ray like this the light ray which is getting reflected which is bounced back is called the reflected light and the surface which is doing all this reflection is called the reflecting surface simple si baat hai hai na and all things reflect yaar i mean i am also reflecting right now you can see me because of reflection but i am not like a mirror mirror are shiny objects right so there is a difference between reflection from mirror and reflection from water water ke andar reflection aata hai not that good of a reflection and not that bright why water is deep water is actually doing refraction it's a partial reflection that you are seeing but mirror is doing a good amount of reflection of light it is not directly in your syllabus right somebody will ask you where do you see reflection mirror lake pond right you don't see reflection in a uh, turbulent river water usme thodi milta hai reflection correct hai na so everybody we are done I told you it's a very sweet very simple chapter I have given you a homework question and I have given you notes and important exam questions in a worksheet the link is there in your description click on that and download those they are for you all right if you love what we do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button very important hit the like button and share this video with your friends because they will also love it people who love education who love quality education i should say, I, uh, i should say they will love this video i'm pretty sure so people see you next time like share and subscribe